This is the sad origin story of Jumbo Josh, Coach Pickles, and Kamataki and Tamataki. Let's check Josh it out. Jumbo was Josh. Not always evil. He's so realistic looking. What this the heck, dude? Low key, that's an ugly baby. He's sad. Oh, he's so sad. Origin story. Okay, I'm actually kind of invested in this. What is happening? It looks like Once some sort of like AI time, created this. In a small town surrounded by lush green forests. Wait, why does this actually look good? There lived a brilliant doctor named Dr. Alexander Franklin. Alexander Franklin. He specialized in genetics and was known for his groundbreaking Wait a second, Loki, did they get Morgan Freeman? Artificial organs. Huh? That sounds just like Morgan Freeman. However, his only son, Josh. Oh, no way. He experimented on his son. Life without any friends. Oh, what? This is like a documentary. He was made fun of. His gentle nature and uh, introverted nah, personality dude, that's made so it sad. for him no. to connect with others. Poor guy. Dr. Franklin felt sad for his son. So he turned him into Jumbo Josh? Him Are you kidding me? So he used his knowledge. Oh, wait, did he make him a friend? To create a special friend for Ah, Jack. okay, okay. So he kind of just made like an Working Elmo type looking thing. In his laboratory, he tried many different methods. This is like a movie. Nothing seemed to work. Why is this so good? Until finally. He made Jumbo Josh. Happened. He turned an Oscar the Grouch plushie he into a real life a Jumbo Josh. Creature. Using a combination of genetic engineering. All right, that and thing is cursed. Technology. What? Who made this, Dr. bro? Dr. Franklin created a cute, tiny. I guess. Green monster. It kind of just looks like a green baby, like a little alien creature. He waited. Oh, we gave it to him for his Josh's birthday. birthday. Oh, okay. And he gifted the green creature to him. I don't know if I would be happy as a ten-year-old. Hoping. To bring happiness back to his son's life. Like, did the doctor not realize he could just get his son a dog? Josh, I hope to see you happy. Okay, dude, how did they make this? Josh was very happy. This is awesome. He finally found a friend. I mean, yeah, once again, a dog probably would have been the better Josh option. Quickly named his new small friend. He named him Jumbo. Hey, what? Josh. Why Jumbo Josh? He is literally so tiny. From the moment Josh laid <laughs> yeah. eyes on Jumbo Josh, a bond formed between. Also, why did he name it himself? They quickly became best friends. <laughs> That'd be like if I got a dog and, and named it Jack. Josh found solace and happiness in his new friend. Jumbo oh, Josh. Oh, he is kind of cute. Playful, and wanted to share everything with Josh. So how did things go wrong? They were inseparable. Jumbo Josh became Josh's confidant, his playmate, and his truest companion. Josh's father was so happy for his son, but he only gave them one rule. The dad is kind of creepy. They should never go out of the house See, for Jumbo like, Josh's safety. That's kind of creepy. They both enjoyed the same things. What is that, pasta? Their favorite food. Was bro, spaghetti. bro, Jumbo Josh is not looking good. They loved playing video games. Oh, I didn't realize. Look, he's so tiny. Wait, they're actually playing Garden of Bad Bad. <laughs> Blowing bubbles. So, how did Jumbo Josh Reading get to be like this evil sleep. creature? And acting plays at home. Wait, why is this like really good? This is like an actual movie, like Netflix documentary Jumbo on Jumbo Josh. Josh. Loved Josh just as much. I love you. Aww. But one sunny afternoon, they were tempted by the nice weather outside. Of course, and Jumbo Josh was they like, "Hey, I want to go outside." To break the one rule they were given and play in the backyard. Also, wait, did he let his son go Suddenly, outside, or just like Jumbo Josh their couldn't go outside? Was interrupted. By the prying eyes of a neighbor. Oh, Grandma, come on! The neighbor was scared. What the heck, Grandma? The You're 90 years old. How did you even creature. see it? She was terrified. Quickly How are you scared of that? Authorities. How was she scared Those of that thing? Like wildfire throughout the town. 
Bro, Portrayed you gotta be kidding me. Jumbo Josh as a dangerous and he made the newspaper? Nah, dude, how is that even scary? They sent the, the FBI? Nah, that's security, actually, that, that's right. crazy. That's crazy. Determined to capture the supposed threat. They got a helicopter to they capture a little baby this big. House. It's smaller than my forehead. Using helicopters and SWAT teams. Wanting to capture the scary green creature. That thing is not scary. I, am I blind? Guys, comment down below. Is, is that thing scary? But they didn't find anyone. Oh, wait, did they run away? Dr. Franklin had seen them. Ah, uh, okay. And decided to help his son and jumble So Josh's they ran. Gun. Wait, but why the son? the woods nearby. Why couldn't you just, like, get rid of Jumbo, Jumbo Josh? Josh? And led him into the forest. <laughs> wanting to hide. Oh, no, dude. Engaging enemy. As the authorities chased them. Okay, they got... They raced through the trees. Huge guns. Their hearts pounding with fear. They tried to convince the authorities that he was harmed. I swear Jumbo Josh's like hair changes in every single clip. However, like sometimes he's got like spaghetti noodle hair. Were sometimes he's got like a like a little green afro. They closed in on them. Are they gonna find Jumbo Josh? In an attempt to capture Jumbo Josh. Really? Why do they think he's so dangerous? One of the bombs struck Dr. Franklin and Josh. No. A cloud of smoke surrounded the doctor and Josh. No way. They fell to their knees. <laughs> coughing. Oh. The powerful sedative was too powerful. The for powerful the sedative was too powerful. Jumbo Josh. Witnessing the doctor and his best friend, Josh. Oh, wait, that's so sad. Lying motionless on the forest floor. No, dudes. Oh. He let out a heartbreaking roar. See, people are just scared of what they don't understand. You gotta just sometimes accept that, you know, things are a little bit different than, than you are. And you gotta accept it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, maybe they were right a to be scared. Began to occur. Okay, wait. Jumbo Josh looks like he's getting absolutely massive. Who are these people? Why are they out in the forest? Jumbo Josh swore. No. Jumbo Josh swore. To oh, to take. That was Coach sad, but Pickles it can't be more sad than the origin story of Coach Pickles. A monster. Oh, he looks so cute. This is his sad origin story. Oh my goodness. What? He's adorable. Once upon a time, in a nice forest, Coach Pickles lived harmoniously with his family. All the different animals. Enjoying the beautiful nature around him. Coach Pickles was known for his playful nature. He's like Dumbo. And his vibrant blue color. How adorable. He loved spending time with his friends. Yeah. Playing, eating, and enjoying the cozy surroundings. I mean, who doesn't like that? But one fateful day, the peace of their forest was shattered by the arrival of humans. How much did they have to pay Morgan Freeman to do these? They had plans to transform the land and build a basketball court. Not the basketball court. The elephants. No. And the other animals. They build a basketball court. It's not like an oil Their factory. It's a basketball was court. Being destroyed, leaving Coach Pickles and no. his family feeling sad. I guess they helpless. can't ball with their bros. The greedy humans chose to burn the forest. Wait, what? Thousands of trees. Okay, wait, so it started out with basketball? The animals watched. And then they just were like, nah, we're gonna burn the whole forest out. Torn Screw down it. Let's just burn everything. For the basketball court. Are you joking? They felt a deep sense <laughs> of loss and yearn. Who did justice. this? Who did this? Was this uh, like Steph Curry just with his building a basketball court in his like back Coach forest yard? Was separated from family. No, Man Coach Pickles. 
in the fire. No, Coach Pickles. They tried to save him. Maybe he's the coach of the basketball the team fire now. Was too big. He doesn't die, right? That wouldn't make sense. He was being burnt alive. Oh, what? Miraculously, he survived. Yes. Okay. There was a big pause there, and I but got a little bit nervous. Forever changed. And that's how he looks like, Coach Pickles. He emerged from behind the smoke. Oh, what? With fierce determination. He's huge. What? Yeah. Last up, we're checking out the origin story of Kamataki and Tamataki, the turtle and the chameleon. Tamataki and Kamataki were not always. <laughs> I'm surprised they got Morgan Freeman to say this. This is. They are sad. Origin oh, story. cool. They lived on Hawaii. Once upon a time, on a small island, there were two special creatures. It's named really Tamataki cool, like being Kamataki. able to see them in what appears to be kind of like real life. Clever and loved by everyone. Okay. However, they were known by their curiosity. Okay, so it, it looks like they it's kind of similar to, to the other origin stories. And everywhere around them. That's so creepy, like seeing but them in real life ever like that. Since they were little, there was one thing they were warned about. What was that? Near the shore, there was a shipwreck. Okay. The tale was that there was a great treasure inside. Like their cookies? Have always warned them <laughs> oh, did not they? to approach this shipwreck. The elder turtle said no. As the treasure is said to be cursed. Yes, no treasure for Anyone you. Anyone who dares to open the treasure will turn into a monster. I'm going to guess they probably opened Deep the treasure. Inside, Tamataki and Kamataki never believed the story about the curse. Why did I think One that was broccoli? Day, they decided to go after the treasure. Of course they did. They waited until the right moment when everybody was busy before starting their quest. Their quest for what? Nervously, they approached the forbidden shipwreck. Oh. They knew they shouldn't How open did nobody chest, know about their quest? But curiosity made it hard to resist. I mean, yeah, if there's a great treasure, they I would go do it. the creaky lid. What is that, gold? They found the treasure. <laughs> it looks Surprisingly, like gold. Nothing happened. But why would they want gold? They laughed and took the treasure with them. Reaching the shore, Tamataki and Kamataki started to boast of what they did. Well, that's probably not a good when idea. When suddenly, black smoke came out of the treasure chest. Everyone was really scared. Yeah, I would the be black too. Smoke started engulfing Tamataki nope. and Kamataki. Nope, they're gonna turn giant. Terrified, Look at all the animals. They asked their friends <laughs> for help. But it was too late. Sorry, guys. They turned into an evil monster. I guess if we learned anything today, don't mess with evil monsters and don't go after cursed treasure. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and click this video to see more.